Hi, my name is Tim Murphy. I'm the head football coach at Clovis East High School. And today we're going to talk about our counter plays in our I wing and double wing offense. For the last 11 years running the I wing and the double wing offense, we've enjoyed a lot of success. A lot of it having to do with the offense itself. And uh, we've been able to be in the playoffs out of those 11 years, uh, 11 straight times. We've had nine league championships. We've uh, been in five CIF championship appearances, three CIF championships itself and we're the winningest large school program in Central California this decade. And we're also the winningest new school in California state history. Why we run counter plays? We need to keep the defense honest. It's probably the number one reason we need to run counter plays. I think the one thing that counter plays bring to the table is they look like another play for the first couple seconds of the play, but yet the play is coming back the exact opposite direction. Big play potential, I think whenever you get an off, a defense flowing one direction and the play actually hits another, you're only going to have to deal with maybe two or three defenders. And uh, when you take 11 defenders and, and subtract it down to three, you obviously have a great chance for a big play. And then again, like our other plays, it enhances our base plays. If we're going to run a couple counters and we hit maybe one for even a 10 or 20 yard gain, it's really going to make our base plays that much more effective because they don't want to get hit by that gain. And again, not only will we get a lot of 10 and 20 yard plays, but you'll see in the film, we're getting a lot of 60 and 70 yard touchdowns off these plays as well. The four keys to the success. Number one is probably the ball faking because we're always having to fake one direction and go the other. If the guy that is getting the fake does not carry out that fake authentically until when the whistle blows, the play is going to be compromised. Number two is the play must strongly resemble another play for a specific amount of time. So when we design the play, it has to look like power, has to look like an outside run play, has to look like a pass play for a significant amount of time. The timing and the speed of the play has to be perfect. We've got a lot of guys going different directions. Quarterbacks doing a lot of reverse pivots and a lot of underneath handoffs and even sometimes some double exchanges. So the timing has to be good as well. The ball carrier must get vertical as soon as possible. Again, a lot of counter plays hit horizontal in the beginning. So as soon as he can, just like an outside run play, he wants to get vertical as soon as he can. Formations, some are better than others, but almost all can work just like in all of our plays. We like our double tight end sets, but again, with the counter, a lot of times we'll actually take a set, take it one way, and then the play will actually run another way. So in other words, we'll take our left tight end, put them at the right split end spot. We'll take our fullback, put them offset to the right, but yet we're actually running the play left. So we're actually setting up the counter before the play even starts by our formations. Again, off balancing the offense, say, to the right and running the play back to the left is really important for what we do. Uh, we can run out of single tight end sets. There's not as much power, but again, because we're taking that tight end and moving them around as a receiver, especially to the opposite side of where the play is going, it really can help us out. No tight end sets with our quads and trips. You can do the same thing. Quads, not quite as good, but trips is great because you put three receivers one way and hit the play back the other. And no fullback sets are pretty good as well. I think the thing about them is you lose your fullback, and the fullback really adds a new dimension to these counter plays that I think the uh, no fullback sets are not quite as good as the other three. But again, you can do that if you're a no fullback uh, eye or, or wing type team. Okay, the first counter play we're gonna start off with is our reverse. It's basically an inside counter play. Uh, before we even get into that, even if you haven't seen the uh, other videos, I wanna make sure you understand how we're blocking